Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest, Jalen. Do you think it's fun when you don't help? <laughs> hey, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what you're thinking. What are y'all doing? <laughs> what is this contraption? What is this mess? Well, we're about to make a bed. Today we're going to make Jalen's bed. It's already made, but not really for Sammy. Sammy is on Saturday. Before we got started, we talked about how we want to make the bed because everybody makes the bed differently. I was really surprised when she told me she wanted to start all over. It's just better to start over because the start measurements from aren't scratch. right. The measurements aren't right. Like the, the cover is up too far. Like that's not good. All right, so she wants to start over, so we're gonna start over. What we're gonna do is take all the tape off the bottom of the bed. We're gonna leave the sheet on, but just take all the tape off. Then we're going to grab her trunks. The trunks are the big green things I'm pulling out right now. And we're gonna put them out in the hallway. The first step is putting your trunks in the hallway. And these trunks, <laughs> <laughs> these trunks are what's gonna provide the base for your bed. The trunks are what's gonna allow you to get under the bed and we're gonna do it out in the hallway just because there's more space out there. My older sister June usually helps Jalen make her bed and I usually pay someone to make mine. Not only because it's a hassle, but I really love supporting these people out here hustling on their grind. Some people be charging $20 a bed and they're so good they can make it under 30 minutes. That's about $40 an hour, which is unheard of. It's really hard to make extra money here at the academy unless you're grinding. All right, so now we have the bed balanced on the trunks. There's only one sheet on the bed right now. I have to go through the rest of Jalen's sheets and find which one's the cleanest. Let's see which one of the sheets we think is the dirtiest. Out of these two that we have left, I think this is the one that's the dirtiest. <laughs> so this is the one that we throw out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to waste good material. We can turn into a ghost costume. <laughs> We're gonna take the widest sheet and put that one on the top. This is the sheet that we'll be using to make our hospital corners and the one that the inspectors will be judging, so that's why we need this to be the widest. Only one side of this will be out though, so we also need to see which end of the bed is the best end. Then we'll be able to decide which side we want to make our hospital corners on. The key to a good bed is a good base. It doesn't matter if there are wrinkles in the sheets right now, you just want to make sure everything's as flat as possible. And you want to make sure you're using clean sheets, especially for the display side. Is that the cleanest side? Turn on your flashlight so you can look at both sides. We need to make this bed fast. I think this side might be cleaner, but I'm not sure. To get everything nice and tight, we're gonna use good old reliable duct tape. But we're gonna go in with en enforcements afterwards. The scissors is a fabric scissors, so we can make the ghost costumes tonight. For the <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's funny? <laughs> because it's not. <laughs> now we're just going back and forth and making sure the sides of the beds are even. Right now it's almost eight o'clock and I do have homework I need to be doing, so we gotta get this done. We gotta get it done fast. Officers. Sometimes they'll still be officers walking around at this time, so I just put the camera down just in case they walk by. I don't want to re record them. So you want to take this clipboard and put it in just like this along the edge of the bed. Yeah. And then, um, once you have that 45 degree angle, what'd you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> once you have the 45 degree angle, that's when you apply the tape. Or we can straighten out the sheet first. There's a lot of wrinkles in there. This is straight. This is why I prefer to use my hands. We well, are gonna do that side, so. And then you guys will show, you guys will be able to say in the comments whose side is better. Who has the better hospital corner? That is right, the best hospital corner will be decided by you guys, the viewers. After you watch me and Jill make our hospital corners, go on ahead and go down to the comments and vote on who's is the best. And while you're there, also consider subscribing and liking the video so that it reaches more people. You wanna make sure that you're taping it not to the sheet underneath, but to the actual bed, because if you tape it to the actual bed, then it'll slide around. So you wanna be taping it to the blue part not the actual sheet so we're just going to use two stripes and you can tell this still needs a lot of ironing but it's a start and mm -hmm. that's a good line 
then you just go in with your hand and you keep fixing it. You make sure you want to pull this all down so you don't have any straight lines. Why is it me a Smile like you in your robe? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Once in my company, they had to be like, stop talking to people in your robe. This is my thing. He's a nice enough guy. Like, why are you talking to me at Pat's in your bathroom? <laughs> Nothing under it, and I'm on the season two. It's like a high. It's like, we're having a full conversation in your bathroom. Just standing there. I'm like, I'm like, is this real? Like, I don't know. Don't so that's a don't do. Not talk to people while you're in your bathrobe, especially people who are trapped on the queue. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just in sheet fixing and the bang. Now you just gotta keep your hand there. <laughs> Give us your honest opinion. Which side do you think is better? Yeah, which hospital corner oh, did, is better? Did, did one do one and one did the other? Let me get around. <laughs> we need honest people. opinions. <laughs> which one? Wait, no, it's over one yeah, right here. Oh, okay. This, <laughs> this, this one's one. better. Wait, am I looking at it? Yeah. Oh, you see, she was voted this one. Yes. yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to chase you around the bed. You ain't even slapping me up for being an idiot. All right, let's see. I need to get a little light over this here. This one's better. <laughs> 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 Let me go ahead and redo this one. Enlisted and they make you do this bullshit. Like oh, really? Drills would come in and tear your shit down and, oh. and they build it again. <laughs> oh, what? And you just blade edge it and kind of run your fingers till the slide go down the other hand until it gets to the very end. And it'll hold there. You just hold that in place. This would already be like taped down. You would tape down this whole blade edge first. And you'll basically just have two folds like this one will be here and one will be here. You just tape it and tape it. That's easy. Yeah. The way, the way that, it's just cleaner. Right, so, it's just cleaner. <laughs> so, like this one, like, I don't know about There's like a little bit of wrinkles and stuff, but that's fine. That's just <laughs> so you're just gonna iron it out. Yeah, on this side, it's hanging loose. It's not, they're they're not horribly mm -hmm. different. It's just so. loose and sloppy it's on this side. Okay. I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna say anymore. I'm unintentionally taking sides. I'm sorry, girls. I had to tape it up for myself because no one was holding the scissors. So after you already put down one sheet, you have to put down another sheet. And then after you put on this sheet, we're gonna put on what they call this gray girl. These mug letters are gonna face down so you won't be able to see them. There's always a lot of confusion when it comes to what happens after you lay down the gray girl. The yellow and black stripes have to go at the bottom of the bed, but the regulation says two different things about the stripes, so there's just a lot of confusion. No, you have to pull this to where it's supposed to be. Then you start taping everything. No, the tape, the sheet to the cover. No, you don't tape the sheet to the cover. You need to pull you need to pull this down and Why tape the Stop. This is the head. What are you doing? I oh, then this one needs to go down before you tape that. No, you forgot the sheet. Why would the sheet need to go to just this one? No, we got it to the side. Like this. Oh my bad. Stop it. So this yellow bar, this yellow bar we want to make sure is at the bottom of the bed. So like you don't want to be able to see it from the top. Let's so move it down a little bit more when um, we tighten it. Now we're finally on to my favorite part of the bed making process, which is the clipboard measurements. <laughs> you always have to make sure that the fold at the top of the bed is the width of the clipboard, not that way, this way. That's a little thick, so she's about to fold it again differently to make it the exact measurements because the inspectors will use their clipboards to measure the length sometimes. You also have to make sure it's the same clipboard width all the way down. So just take it and run it across like this. And then the top part has to be the length of the clipboard. So you can see it's a perfect fit for the clipboard. So it's a perfect measurement. 
Right now, the gray girl, the gray blanket, and the sheet that's on the top is not secured to the bed. We're going to iron it out first before we tighten it. Ironing your bed is probably the most important part about Tammy because if you have no wrinkles in your bed, then the inspector might just look at it and be like, all right, it's good to go, just because it doesn't have any wrinkles in it, and that's a really hard thing to do. After the first ironing session, we can finally get under the bed and tighten it. We're gonna be using boot blousers that's a hack actually. A hack is using boot blousers because you could really just tape the bottom with duct tape as well, but it's really hard to get it to stay because you have to be taping it to the sheet at this point. I've never seen a perfect bed that doesn't use boot blousers or doesn't use those safety push pins. If you want a bed that's gonna last you all semester, you're gonna have to be using duct tape, boot blousers, and the safety push pins. We don't have the push pins right now, so we just using what we got. See, she hooks it. This is the almost finished product. You can see how tight the boot blousers made that part of the bed. We still need to do some more ironing out at the top, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. We are about to pick up the bed and put it back onto her bed frame. As we get closer to Sammy, you may see a lot more people in the hallway fixing their beds. This is still the same week as Reorgy Week though, so most people made their beds earlier today because they have to be an AMI by tomorrow and you might as well make your bed because the AMI standards and the sammy standards for your bed are the same it's just they're not going to be looking as hard as they would be looking if it were sammy so for ami they're really just looking at the green blanket the green girl or they're just looking at the pillow they're not really looking too much for the measurements i hope i explained everything well but if i didn't please 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 leave a comment i'll be making a follow-up video answering all of you guys questions and putting it out this week well this concludes our video on making a bed She's just going to put the green girl and pillow on there, but we're not going to do that until actual Sammy, which is in two days. And she's going to pack. This outro went on forever, so I'm just going to end it here. I will see you guys next time.